So first of all, I just have my new best partner of the show because you saved my panel on ministers. Uh, due to timing issues, thank you very much, Jean Laurent. I can tell you it's not easy to ask to a CEO of one of the biggest banks in the world uh, to change of one hour is planning. So um, thank you for proposing and doing it and staying until now. Thank you very much, Laurent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So um, perhaps first, even if everybody knows BNP, but can you just give us three, four KPIs figures just for people who are here to understand what is BNP in the world today? BNP Paribas. BNP Paribas, sorry. Uh, well, BNP is a kind of global bank, integrated model, well diversified, because in banking you need to have a certain level of diversification. You never know. You have cycles, risks, uh, regions. So it's better to have a kind of diversified model, integrated. We are servicing uh, all kinds of uh, franchises, retail, financial institutions, corporates. And in all those areas, uh, we are very much, I would say, uh, as much as we can, at least uh, the digital way, uh, meaning that most of the term plan uh, we have disclosed uh, recently, beginning of that year, uh, is centered at the digital transformation. Uh, we are on our way to invest uh, four, 4 billion euros for the four years to come, down to 2020, uh, to deliver new customer journeys, uh, new approaches, to reinvent uh, the organization model of the bank, to try to fine tune uh, expectations with new approaches, and to grab uh, as far as we can grab those ideas, newcomers, new ventures, and try to open the company uh, to fintechs, innovation. And we do, it that, we do that both ways, internally and externally. Uh, we have the so-called hackathon, trying to ask uh, for solutions when we are unable to find the solutions uh, for our own problems, so we are opening uh, the company to ideas coming from uh, the universe. Uh, and through that approach, we started uh, three years ago. We have already uh, closed a number of partnerships. And internally, we are proposing some of our colleagues uh, to be uh, innovators and to become entrepreneurs at home. And when they have uh, relevant ideas, relevant projects, uh, we propose them uh, a kind of uh, very specific approach, that is to say, to be given the, the chance, the opportunity uh, to be 100% dedicated to the idea and given the opportunity to be treated like a fintech, that is to say, uh, being offered a, a relevant means in an incubator or such, such an approach. So, so this is basically the philosophy we are in. Uh, looking at the digital transformation, and I guess that uh, uh, the FinTech, uh, Paris FinTech Forest Forum is about uh, digital transformation. Definitely, so you already in a few words answered two questions. How are you doing, uh, uh, undertaking BNP Paris digital transformation, and who are you? So, of, of course, in Paris FinTech Forum, we always treat of two subjects, uh, the digital transformation of the big incumbents, and how you work with fintechs and how fintech work and disrupt you. So that will be my second question. What's the role of fintech in BNP Paribas transformation? Ideally, uh, to give us or to offer us uh, solutions, idea we're unable to deliver. Because uh, sometimes you are looking at uh, processes, products, uh, after 10 years, 20 years of a certain vision and you are not strong enough to have a new angle. So, so the good, very positive, uh, I would say, uh, thing with fintechs is that they are looking at the finance universe in a very different way. They, they have really a different approach and they can uncover uh, pieces of the business that can be upgraded in a way that is very different from the regular way the way a regular bank would look at the situation. We are, we are accustomed to a certain type of banking, and sometimes we are able to move, and sometimes we are unable to move. Uh, when we invested in the uh, Nickel beginning of last year, basically this is because they had a very specific business model and a technology that is intraday. We are 
up to now unable to deliver for the retail business. So the business model and the technology were, if I may say, beyond our reach uh, looking at being paid by And you have to understand that sometimes, even if you are in the business for so many years, there are ideas, technologies that are beyond your reach. So, so basically, uh, this is what we're expecting from uh, fintechs, new angles, new ideas, and uh, new ways to deliver uh, a positive bank, a more positive bank than before. So this is very important. It's not only about digitalization, it's also about ability to deliver a positive bank, meaning better service and, if possible, more competitive service looking at the, at the cost base. And you are present in every country and every vertical. Uh, this kind of things you, you look for in every country or more specifically in some geographies or more specifically in some verticals? Uh, we are in a number of countries. Uh, we try to concentrate on a number of key geographies. Uh, of course, Europe, uh, US, Asia, uh, geographies in which we have real franchises, on which uh, if we come across a certain technology, we can leverage the technology on a certain franchise that has the size, I would say the critical mass, so we can uh, bring something and offer the newcomer, the partner, the fintech, something that is, I would say, a valid basis to experiment and to develop and to, to grow the idea. So, so this is basically uh, France, Belgium, Italy, Luxembourg, Spain, most of our countries in Europe, we are in retail. We have more than 30, 30 million customers in, in retail in those, in those countries. Globally, looking at investment banking, uh, we are a worldwide bank in that respect. And uh, we can grab ideas from Hong Kong, Shanghai, New York, California, continental Europe. I mean, it's coming from all over the, all over the world. And just the same for anything that is asset management, wealth management. So. Uh, but ideas can be very close. I mean, if you look at the, the investment we, we made in, in, the, in Gambit, the, the Belgium company, uh, it's, it's only 500 kilometers. It's not that far. But the idea and the business model is really great. So you have to also to look uh, closely at what is close to you. Because ideas, technology, it's not only California or Shanghai. It's all over the place. You were mentioning that what you liked in Company Care was this uh, intraday technology, real-time technology almost in many cases. Um, I am an happy customer of BNP Paribas, but I still don't have this real-time on my account. Uh, how long do you think it takes to a big bank like you to integrate and dig digest uh, a, a new technology that you acquire that way to, m to share it with your full base of customer? Uh, for, for the time being, looking at the technology, you can only deliver intraday if you accept to focus the service uh, in a certain way. If you say, uh, for Universal Bank, I want to be intraday, you cannot deliver that because of the technology. Maybe one day it will come, but I doubt of it, at, at least in, a, in the near future. So if you want to move that way, you have to choose a certain service or a certain business model. It's a niche model. service. It's not a niche, it's, it's a certain vision of the market. Okay. And in Contnickel, the, the beauty of the idea uh, is the, the way they looked at the market. Uh, and they said, must be a certain franchise that is those customers that cannot afford to be below zero. They cannot pay for that situation. So, so the business model, the way they, they, they create the business model was exactly that idea that you should deliver a service that would pre prevent any customer to have interest to be paid to the bank because the customer cannot afford that. And honestly, that way to look at the situation couldn't be five years ago a bank approach. It was beyond reach. This is typically a, a situation you would not imagine being a regular classical bank. So ways at looking at markets, segments, franchises is also part of the, uh, of the innovation. It's not only the technology. Business models that are valid are a balance in between new technologies and a new way of looking at the, at the franchise or the market. Understood. Uh, you are present in each segment, as you presented before, so retail banking, corporate banking, institutional investors, a bit everywhere. Um, what is the biggest source of disruption, to your point of view, in the coming years, 
uh, with fintechs or just in general in terms of working with uh, innovators and uh, disruption time with technology? It's difficult to answer uh, because it's, it's all over the, the universe. Uh, I would tend to say that m most probably uh, the first wave is uh, in the universe of, of payments, most probably. Uh, because if you look at that universe, and if you look at the regulation, it's lighter than banking. Banking uh, is something that is uh, slightly more complex. If you look at the regulation, cost of liquidity, cost of equity, regulatory reporting, it's, it's not that easy for the newcomer to become a real global bank. Uh, in payments, it's slightly different because legislations, parliaments, they have created uh, new approaches that are lighter compared to the banking approach. And it's coming that way, first of all. This is my opinion. Then, of course, you have wealth asset management in which we are at the beginning of uh, the robot advisory approach. So this is just the beginning. Uh, it's very unclear uh, if yes or not uh, regulators will uh, will stay with the present situation. It's highly probable that looking at they will add layers of regulate regulation. So, so uh, you cannot look at that segment of the market uh, believing that the regulation is already done. Must be some layers, and then investment banking. Because if you look at investment banking, that industry uh, in less than 30 years uh, emerged uh, very rapidly. And uh, they're usually uh, siloed banks, siloed platforms. Uh, there are large, vast pieces of the banking universe that are in fact non-banking universe. Uh, banks created platforms that are that provided for the full business model, but in reality, only a part of that universe that's in the end of investment bank belongs really to banking. So most probably newcomers will come and I would say unlock that situation and uh, provide banks with approaches that are more efficient, more fluid and more efficient. So, so, so this is uh, also an area that will uh, move very, very rapidly. So, and uh, last but not least, how do you see the future relationship between yourself as BNP Paribas and all the fintech you are working with or trying to work with? Well, first of all, uh, they are part of the franchise of the company. Any fintech can become a customer of BNP Paribas, so feel free to, to knock at the door. I mean, this is the, the commercial piece. Um, it's a new universe, so it's like, I would say, uh, pharmaceutical companies 20 years ago and biotech companies. So any pharmaceutical company in the end invested in the biotech universe, sometimes investing and buying companies, newcomers, sometimes through the regular standalone approach within the company. So uh, it's exactly, in my opinion, the same process. We have to, to, to be closer, we have to interact, uh, we have to understand uh, both sides, and it's, it's a conversation. I mean, so, so we are moving, you are moving, fintechs, and uh, well, there is a lot of room. Uh, the financial industry is a very vast industry. Uh, of course, sometimes it's a complex industry, uh, there is a lot that can be derived and a lot of value and wealth that can be derived with that industry if collectively uh, we can deliver, uh, as I said, a, a positive approach, respectful of customers, uh, ability to move in their best interest, delivering services that are efficient at the rel relevant level of price and a good recognition of what are really the needs of those customers. So uh, that new ecosystem is going to be very different, but very solid because uh, we need to be all together uh, to deliver that, that better future looking at the 
service, financial services industry. So, so this is my, my vision. And so it's just the beginning of uh, a new uh, universe. So cooperation is a key word. Yes. And uh, I say it because uh, I mean it. And we try day after day to, uh, to be open and to welcome. And sometimes uh, we go through quite long and complex conversation and we do not get uh, a result. But this is not because uh, we are not satisfied or the proposal is irrelevant. This is just because there is not a kind of a, of a fit in between the two companies, the bank and the, 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 the fintech. But well, the, the universe is vast and uh, this is the way we should look at it. And uh, anytime we can find ideas, new ideas, new commerce, that can provide us with a better service or better approach, I can tell you we are really happy because there is uh, so many things to be delivered, imagined, and done uh, looking ahead that uh, it's really a relief. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you so much.